in Bridge Over Troubled Water, done by Jacob Collier, John Legend, and Tori Kelly, also featuring Yeva, who's uncredited, I've broken down a little bit of my first reaction to the song. I've broken down Yeva's initial vocals, and so in this video, I'm going to dive into John Legend's vocals. And honestly, I think that John Legend doesn't really get the the credit that he deserves as a vocalist. His tone, his breath control, his sound control is absolutely top notch. And in this verse that he sings, we're going to hear a lot of his amazing abilities. I'm going to break this down as we go through. So I'm going to pull this off of the YouTube recording. So you'll have to at least just kind of pretend that Jacob Collier's vocals don't exist. I'm sorry, they do. But I want to focus for this video, I want to focus in on John's vocals. So here we go. We're picking up leading into his verse. When you so right there, the first when you're down and out, right? Very straight, just I mean, not much in the way of soul or anything really there. It's just very straightforward tone, which is exactly how Yeva started off her verse. It's just very straight. And then as she went on, that's when things got a lot more gritty, a lot more just mm, behind her vocals. Same thing here with John. Now you're going to see, you know, he starts to add a little bit of a run here at the end. Let's go to the next phrase. When he, when he, when he falls, 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 so hard, so Right there. So again, still very straightforward in tone. And as you get along, now it's a little bit of a delayed entrance, right? When evening comes, right? And that's the thing is that he kind of is taking it and really making this interpretation his own, adding in his own version, right? It's making it exactly how he's wanting it to be. It's not singing it as Simon and Garfunkel would in their original recording, but he's making it his own. So let's go on. So right there, you're going to hear that, ah, right, it's getting a little bit more open, right? So he's now opening up that tone a little bit more and just kind of building and getting a little bit better. Right there. I love this part. This is so good. So the, the text is when darkness, right? So you can hear that tone, when dark, he gets a little bit more darker in his tone. Darkness falls, right? So the, the melody is going down and he's just getting that richer, lower end of his tone right there. Whew, so good. Let's keep going. So I mean, come on. That is so powerful. Now you hear it. He goes from that darker tone just immediately into this just, woo, full sound. I mean, I've got goosebumps listening to that. I get goosebumps every time I hear that part. Ooh, that is so good, right? Just the control that he's got to go from this darker tone going low to just skyrocketing up and just that natural crescendo that comes and, oh, so good. But we're not. Oh, that little bit it's a little bit more of a wider sound Wahada, right and it works really really well here because he's just really playing with it just being so creative I will I will I will Okay, <laughs> when he just jumps up into that falsetto, right? 
Woo, that is so good. Oh my gosh. I just love that. It's so smooth. Again, just the, the jump between the two is so, so powerful. The only way the male singers can do that and do it well is through lots of practice, lots of repetition, because there's just this natural break that we have between what we call our chest voice, that space that we normally sing super comfortably, and that falsetto, that really light, high sound. It just has this natural break point where it just, it's difficult to smooth that out. And he does that so extremely well. I mean, that's just so good. I mean, it's there's so much there to, to really just take in. The thing about Jacob Collier overall as a musician, as a producer, and you're going to hear this when I dive into Jacob's part of this whole thing, it's all about an onion. <laughs> I mean, that's the best way to compare his music. It's got so many layers. And just right here with John Legend's vocals, there's so much to unpack, not even just with Jacob's backing stuff. We'll get to that in another video. But just sitting there with John Legend's vocals, there's just so much that he does so extremely well, so smooth, so comfortable sounding, right? I mean, it doesn't sound like he's having to work for any of this at all. It just sounds very natural. Now, of course, as a vocalist, that's not the case. There's work that goes into singing that well. It doesn't always, even if you've got the natural ability to do that, it still takes work to do it well. So that's John Legend's part of the song. The next video that's going to come out is about Tori Kelly's ver part in this whole thing. And her verse is unbelievable. And we'll dive into that in another video. But stay tuned for that. And check out my other videos about Yeba's verse and then my reaction to Jacob's voice.